Hi, it's DeWire. It's February the 24th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about one of the more interesting recent fights. The UK's Josh Kelly against Russia's David Avanesian. Now, let me just say, I have the favorite moments, the highlights of this fight in my favorites folder, and it's jarring. Kelly has the higher upside, right? He's the one with more potential. You see that early, right? He is fast, he's athletic, he's bigger, he's charismatic. At one point in the fight, he goes like this and dares Avenesian to hit his midsection. He's the guy who, just on talent, should have won the fight. But there's a problem. This is one of those rare fights where the loser, if he corrects the problems in the gym, might be able to win a rematch. Avenesian is better inside. Right? Kelly, you notice, can get close and he can fight inside, but he's not as good as Avenesian is inside. Avenesian's on his front foot. Kelly likes a cushion. Kelly wants to showboat a bit. Avenesian is coming forward. He's collapsing the cushion. Now, here's the problem. <clears throat> and this is really the main point of this video. <clears throat> Kelly just did not know how to dictate the pacing of the fight. He shouldn't have kept going backwards. When Avenesian comes inside, the smaller man, Kelly should have clinched him. Kelly, who has Adam Booth in his corner, needs to spend a lot of time in the gym figuring out how to clinch smaller guys who know how to keep their hands close to their body. Let me just point out that when you're the taller man, and I saw Vladimir Klitschko do this, I saw George Foreman do this, when you're the taller man, there's a way to lean on a guy's shoulder. When a guy is fighting as small as Avenesian, there's a way to lean on his back. You want to get a forearm up on him, up on his shoulder blade, to bend him over. You need to stop him from coming forward, and you need to do so in a way where it doesn't look like you're running. As Kelly slowed down a bit after looking dominant early, Avenesian literally seizes the moment to start to crowd him. There's a moment where Kelly hits Avenesian, has him badly hurt, I believe it's the second round, and then doesn't follow up, <clears throat> doesn't take that step forward to completely blow him out of the water. Have it be such that either Avenesian goes down or he is hurt badly enough where the pain shows in the subsequent rounds. Instead, Kelly, who's a young guy who wants space, backs away. Let's have Anisian back in the fight. Let me say, too, on a more advanced level, Floyd Mayweather had a technique where, as a guy was trying to walk him down, Mayweather, who... Kelly fights a lot like, right? Has his shoulder between his chin and the opponent. Has his shoulder in front of him, right? Um, stands at a 90 degree angle. Mayweather would let a guy walk into him, right? Mayweather understood, okay, this guy's coming forward. I don't want to back up. Mayweather gets hurt in the Sugar Shane Mosley fight, with Mosley right up on him. Mayweather, while hurt, knew not to back up, gets his knees buckled. 
Mayweather starts grabbing Mosley's arms. Well, I'm not saying that this is completely legal. But I got to tell you, sometimes you've just got to survive. You've got to resort to tricks where you're able to avoid backing away, looking vulnerable, losing the round on the scorecard, and then getting hit with shots. Let me say, too, early in the fight, you notice that there's a close clinch, and Avenician hits Kelly on the back of the head. But you'll notice when Kelly gets in that position against Avenician, you'll notice Avenician knows to cover the back of his head. Right? Kelly didn't. Kelly's relying on the referee. Those headshots are devastating. Rabbit punching is illegal. You know, a punch is a punch. Your body can't tell the difference, whether it was in a clinch or whether it was a legal punch in the action. A lot of fighters in clinches just riddle the back of an opponent's head. Go back and look at Carl Froch against Andre Durrell. So you got the feeling that Kelly is great in a clean fight. He's not great in a fight that has rough edges, like this one. Let me say, too, Avenesian's not even pretending to do anything other than try to collapse the pocket. He's continually coming forward. Right? It's a little bit astonishing that Kelly didn't make it a point in some rounds to just clinch him or to fight very small, get low himself, right? And be prepared to throw very short punches as Avenesian collapses the pocket. So if you want to see a fight where the more talented fighter lost, where the more talented fighter employed the wrong strategy at times, didn't know how to slow down the fight, didn't know how to have the opponent walk into a shoulder, how to grab the opponent's arm on inside clinches while hitting him, didn't know how to slow down the opponent. Even though the guy who eventually loses is the better athlete, is the more charismatic fighter. Looks like he has the hand speed advantage. Looks like he has the talent advantage. Then this is the fight to look at. Kelly needs to figure out how to slow things down. I'm telling you, in the 1970s, I saw Ali clinching many guys. Right? They would come up, Ali would clinch them. He wasn't going to have Ernie Shavers teeing off in front of him. He wasn't going to have Ron Lyle teeing off in front of him. So Ali, who was like Josh Kelly, right, charismatic guy who, you know, with room to operate, looks dynamic. When the other guy collapsed the pocket, Ali made sure the action stopped. It stopped. Right here, Kelly didn't know how to slow down the action. He ends up getting stopped in the sixth round of a fight that he started fast in, that he looked like he had the talent edge in. Right? Play the scenarios in your mind. One of them has to be, what happens if this KG vet who knows how to throw short punches is determined to walk me down and crash the pocket. You need to have an answer to that question before you enter the ring. That has to be a scenario you're prepared for. Here, Josh Kelly, at this stage of his career, wasn't quite ready for that. He left this one on the table. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. The fight's on the zone right now. The highlights are in my favorites folder here on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by.